Well, as Christmas draws closer, pressure is mounting on food banks and service organizations. In the Cowichan Valley, that pressure is even stronger. Over the past six months, the city of Duncan has earned the dubious distinction of being this province's unemployment capital. But as CTV Scott Cunningham reports, the climate of hunger is creating a spirit of giving. This is about the typical size hamper for maybe a single mom and a child. Peanut butter, soup, and whatever can be stuffed into a plastic bag. It's the mishmash that makes up a food bank hamper in Duncan. And hundreds that staff create each week are snapped up in a city in the grips of hunger. We're very busy. We've seen an increase again around the Christmas season. Volunteers say seats in the tiny food bank have been full for months. The region's weary and hungry seeking refuge and eating away at the small stock of reserves. I had been working and was laid off and then my EI was cut off. Without warning, last winter Maggie Davenport became a statistic after being suddenly laid off from her job as a office manager. She was one of hundreds who used the food bank. Six months later she has a job and is making ends meet but will never forget what the service did for her. Did this place save your life? I think in a lot of ways yes it did. Not just the food, it's the companionship and the commitment of the people that are here to serve the community. Demand inside the Duncan Food Bank has hit new and troubling highs in the last six months and as pressure from the coming holiday season looms over the small charity, officials say the community simply needs to step up. That's just marvelous. Feeding the food banks of the College and Valley. The call for help is hitting the airwaves. A local radio station is attempting to fill an 18-wheeler for a number of food banks in the Cowichan Valley, and it seems people are tuning in. Walmart donated in a big way, and others use any means of transport they can to offer up some help. Uh, it's a great cause, you know, and I think that, um, you know, we're, we've been very fortunate, and I think that uh, I really believe in putting back in the community and, and giving to the less fortunate. What we have here is we have people helping people. Uh, the Cowichan Valley always comes forward, and this has been no exception. You know this food drive is now in its seventh day Donations are flooding in, and if the truck can be topped off in the next few days, it could satisfy need at food banks in the Cowichan Valley until the spring. Scott Cunningham, CTV News, Duncan.